Coming up next, it's a welterweight showcase between the Apex and Ryan LaFleur. No, no, nobody can stop me. Looking for a big victory tonight. He is pumped up and ready to go. This guy has an incredible ability to control fighters. It's extremely frustrating for the man on the bottom, but once he gets the fight to the ground, oftentimes that is where the fight will remain. Ryan Lafley, back in the octagon. Looking to prove once again that he's one of the best in the world. This guy has some of the best guard passing in all of mixed martial arts. His technique and the speed of his execution is outstanding. Welterweight battle. The Apex is three years his elder. LeFlair is three inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here's the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter holding a special record of 12 wins, one loss. He's down 60 foot inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Ryan And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of New Market, Ontario, Canada. The Apex! And when the afternoon you are going to be in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee hey, for this fight, welterweight are fight. Are here tonight, Let's inside go, go. the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. Tonight's fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. LeClaire gets hit with that inside leg kick. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Nice left hand. And he's looking for that left. Nicely done. Good hands, really mixing things up. Oh, he completes the suplex. And he connects here. Joey's really smothering his opponent with the crucifix. And again, he's back into side control. He's looking to take the back. He's got his back here. In half guard. He does have full guard here, which is still dangerous. Showing some good defense here on the ground by controlling that arm. He got his hips well enough to get back to half guard. Very nice sweep. He has a huge elbow. elbow to the head. Leclerc goes into half guard. Excellent movement here on the ground. That's a huge punch. Oh, that one hurt him.
transitions to full guard. opened up on his cheek. It looks like he's trying to isolate that arm here. He's free from the arm bar. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. Excellent posture here. It looks like he's looking for a guillotine choke. He's got it under the chin here, Mike. That choke is deep. This could be it. He Outstanding. And it is all Outstanding. Over. Round was almost over, but he sunk in the submission and got the victory. Time now for our fight replay. And let's take a look at this nasty guillotine here. Locked in, nice and tight, perfect position for the victory. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. All right, here's Bruce Buffer with the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop in this contest at 4 minutes, 47 seconds of the very first round. He's going to win it by tap out due to a guillotine choke. The, the Apex. Apex gets the submission victory here tonight.